Hi guys, um, today I want to teach you um, something that I found by accident. These are my uh, folk art paints. They are fantastic. They're my favorite for doing my nail art. And um, I actually had stopped buying them only because if you don't use them fast enough, what tends to happen is that the product separates. I've shown in the past how it just just gets clumpy and it just separates. You have like a gel in there and this clumpy paint. So the other day just by curiosity I decided to take um, a Ziploc bag just a regular Ziploc bag. These I actually Pick them up really inexpensive at the dollar store. Get 60 to a pack. That's not bad. So I had a lot of these that I had thrown away. Sadly, I didn't know that I could do this. But necessity is the mother of invention. So basically what I did was I decided to pour my paint into the Ziploc. Sorry for the sound effects. Um, as you can see, it's all like a clop of gel. So I'm trying to get in here as much as I can. There you go. I think I got most of it out. Yeah, and you can see to the bottom of the to the bottom of the jar. You can see how clumpy it is. There's a little bit in here. Let me see if I can shake that out. Yep, got it out. So basically, what I did was I removed the air out of the bag, and I started to knead it. I started to knead it back into its consistency trying to make it come back together with that gel that was separated in there and you can kind of feel it now I did it to another bottle that I had which was green and it just poured out perfectly. You could see this seems to be coming along nicely as well. Like I've said in the past, I love this product, but had stopped using it due to the fact that it just clumped up as you saw. It's just a solid mass, like a gel. I think we're pretty safe here. I'm going to try and pour it back into the bottle. Now what I did do was I worked it into like a little cone at the bottom like when you would frost with a um, Ziploc bag. I'm trying to squeeze as much of the product to the corner so that way we don't lose any of it now that I could save it I mean I must have thrown away like 30 bottles of this product okay as you can see I've smooshed it all the way to the corner I'm going to gather it, twist it, as you can see. Now I'm going to make just a little hole, the bottom right here. And I'll pour the product back in.
You can see it's come back together. Just going to squeegee more. I think I'll be able to get use out of this again. Now I have seen people, they have these little machines. They use it to whip up their milk. It's like a little miniature whisk to froth their milk for their coffee. Now if I could find one of those, I'd probably use that instead of the Ziploc. But for now, this isn't too bad. It's inexpensive, so just remember Roll this up so you don't get any paint on anything. And I just got a little bit on my fingers, which isn't too bad. So let's see how this looks. And there you go. It's nice. Came together. And ready to use again. Now, this one isn't going to work. I think this one is too far gone. I'm trying to see if there's any gel in here. Oh, there is gel. As you can see, it's a watery consistency. Try this one. Oh, you can see this one is just water. Let's try that one. At this point, I'm just having fun. You can see all the liquid that just comes right out. It's just water. And these products are really excellent. But this is the only problem that I have found with them. As you can see, we're again, it's all empty. Get all the air out of the bag. Seal it well. Massage it back together. Now I'm using the um, the um, half gallon bags with my paints, but if you have less paints, you could probably use the snack size. But this one came together already. So I'm going to squeegee this one to the bottom. Again, making sure that we save as much paint as possible. You can tell by the consistency that it's really well mixed. This one might even shoot out. I'm so watery. Yeah, this one's just oozing out. Pretty 
looking nice. And like I said before, necessity is the mother of invention. So I'm pretty happy I have two that I just restored to a workable consistency. Really no mess involved. Now I'll put the lid back on, shake it up. Oops, dropped my scissors. And let's see. There you go. So you can see it's all come together and workable again. All right. Um, I hope it's, this has been helpful and you're able to take your old paints and bring them back to life. If you have them on your shelf, I'm sure that this might work with any other product um, if you have that problem. So just regular inexpensive um, half gallon Ziploc bags. Pour it in. Get the air out of the bag, massage it back together, pour it back in, and you're done. Um, if you've liked this, let me know. Share with your friends. Leave me questions and comments. And here's to bringing back old friends. Take care. Thank you.